you are an Airbnb manager at Race Coast Gardens. What do you have to say about that? In terms of now we've talked about Numa Bila Kudizo, we are not talking about it in terms of Airbnb. We are either living in the house or renting it the house. So what has been your experience as an Airbnb manager and would you advise us to try that Biashara? Yeah, so I've been running Airbnb at Race Coast since 2019, so for four years now. Yeah. Like any other business, it has its own ups and downs. But at the level at which I am right now, I have mastered the game. So it has good returns, but if done right. Because what people need to understand, you know, when someone is selling you about Airbnb, how many days are they in a month? 30. How much is a studio per day? 2,500. So you get 75K. Uh -huh. To a rent, 20. To a steamer, a maji, 5K. To a internet, 3K. To a housekeeping, 4K. This is 8, 40K. You enter the business knowing you are going to be making 40k per month. But then, this is what you need to ask yourself. The person who's bought this house that I'm renting to make 40k, I am paying him a rent of 20,000. Yet this person spent 3.5 million. Me, my only expense has been the fund. Mm. So one of the main reasons why people go wrong with Airbnb is mm. assuming that things will be linear. It's quite possible out of 30 days, you get occupied for seven days. Assuming that you get, people assume you'll get 100% occupancy, Which is hardly ever the yeah, case. Yeah. Yes. So the best case scenario is you can hope. If you're doing anywhere between 18 to 20 days average per month, mm. this is good business. Yes. You can be able to break even mm -mm. And, uh, pay, yeah, and make some good money. With Airbnb, this is usually my guiding principle. Just plan to make, if your landlord, you're paying your landlord 20K, if you can make anywhere between 10 to 15k, that is good money. Don't be greedy. Because another thing people forget, the guys who created the Airbnb created it because they themselves found a problem. They are traveling, hotels are too expensive, but they still wanted to live in a nice, safe place. So Airbnb was created to rival hotels in terms of pricing, but much quality. Yes. So what you are happening in Nairobi, you are finding some units are more expensive than even going to a five star. Mm. So that beats the purpose. Yes. So don't don't want to make too much money. Mm. If you can just make 0.5, uh, 50% more on top of the rent, mm. that is good. That's why was in my scenarios for furnished, I was just adding 50%. Mm. So if the rent for unfurnished is 40K, if you furnish it, you'll get 60K. There's a month you can get more, there's a month you will not get, but if you just get 50% above the rent mm. for furnished, mm. it's good. Okay. And also what I wanted to say for, we are doing a, a promotion whereby the first 10 people who will buy under Nubabila Kulizo for the sole purpose of renting out and they want to do BNBs, we are going to manage for them for the entirety of the contract until they've paid their time. Yes, but it's only open to 10 people because with 10, you can be able to confidently tell you we can match, we can give you this fixed amount every other month. There's been a lot of learning and when you've been doing something for close to five years, the first two years was just learning, knowing what works, what doesn't work, and the next three years has been about perfection. Okay. I love this conversation. 